In this video, we will learn how to edit a product photo, which is a pair of shoes in this case. We will go step by step through the whole process and see which techniques and tools we can use to get the best results. Okay, first we drag and drop our photo into Photoshop and since it's a raw file, it will automatically open up the camera raw filter. For this photo, I will edit it in three parts. First, I'm gonna edit the background, then the skin tone, and the shoes at the end. So for the background, I will increase the contrast and saturation a little bit, and also the temperature of white balance to keep the warm look. Also, I will increase the dehaze a little bit to give it more pop. At this point, I only focus on the background and don't care if the skin or the shoes are getting extremely bright or dark and just focus on the background. And also I will increase the shadows and whites a little bit. I think it's a little dark. After that we can see the before and after with the backslash key. Just a little more contrast and dehaze. And also a little bit of clarity and texture to make the texture of the background pop a little more. Okay, I think that's good. Then I will click on the arrow of the open button and click on the open as object. The reason that I choose open as object is that we can change the settings later if we want to. Okay, then I'm gonna press the C key on my keyboard and bring up the crop tool. I adjust the crop area and then just hit enter. In the next step, I create a new layer by clicking the new layer button. I hit the M key on my keyboard to use the rectangular marquee tool and select this area. Then I go to edit menu and choose the content aware fill. With this tool, you can delete an unwanted area and fill it with its surroundings. So you can see the preview in this section. And since it's not an important part, I will just click OK. And as you can see, it just fills the area with its surrounding. Then I press the J key on my keyboard to bring up this spot healing brush and just paint over this line to remove it. You can also use a spot healing brush by clicking on its icon right here. So I'm kind of OK with the background here. And I move to the next step, which is working on the skin tone. For this part, I will right click on the photo layer and choose new smart object via copy. The reason that I use this item for duplicating the layer is that if we just duplicate the layer with Ctrl J keys, it will copy the smart object, but also any changes we make to the camera raw filter on a layer will affect the other layer too. But in this way, it just creates a new smart object and will not affect the other layer. I just drag and drop the layer above all the layers we have and click on its name and name it as feet. Then I double click on the thumbnail of the layer. It will open the camera raw filter and you can see it has the settings from the previous layer. So I zoom a little bit in the feet section. For this skin I'm gonna try to make them as smooth as possible. So for that I will bring down the contrast, the dehaze, the clarity and the texture. Then I'm gonna bring down the texture all the way down to almost minus 80% and also the clarity and as you can see it makes the skin way smoother. Then I come down to the detail section and bring the sharpen down, the noise reduction all the way up to 100% and bring down the details a little bit. Then I go to the color mixer section and from the luminance tab as I bring down the slider for the reds, you can see the areas that has red color in them. So I increase the luminance of the reds a little bit. And also bring the hue of the reds a little to the oranges. So the skin doesn't look that reddish. Back to the basics section, I will bring up the exposure a little so 
it's just kind of brighter and lower the clarity a little bit okay i'm good with the skin as you can see it looks very smooth and i click on the ok button as we expected it will affect all the photo but we want just the skin to be affected so i just create a mask to this layer hold the alt key and click on the mask button so it creates a negative mask as you can see it's colored in black which means no area of the layer is visible and now i can paint white on the areas that i want to be shown so i zoom in on the feet and i choose the white color and the brush tool by pressing the b key on my keyboard and start painting with white over the skin with the x key i can switch between the foreground and background colors which are black and white and i can just paint black on the unwanted areas and paint white on the skin first i will paint around the skin then i can fill it easily and the same thing for the other foot too After that, I will hold the Alt key and click on the mask thumbnail of the layer. It will bring up the masks only. And you can see where you have painted. And I can easily fill inside the area that I painted. Okay, then I will hold Alt and click on the thumbnail again to bring back the photo. And as you can see, now it just fix the areas that we wanted which are feet and also i want to change the background of the photoshop to see the photo on a white background you know since the background on most social media are white i want to see it on a white background and for that you just can click on the background of the photoshop and choose select custom color and pick any color you want i think the skin part is a little bit dark so i double click on the thumbnail of the layer again to bring up the camera filter i will increase the whites and bring down the saturation so it gives it more bright look now for the last part i will make another smart object from the main layer we have here i just right click on it and choose new smart object via copy i will bring it above the feet layer and name it as shoes then i double click on the thumbnail and open the camera filter now my focus is on the shoes only. I zoom on the shoes and bring up the dehaze, bring up the shadows. Texture. And clarity to make them pop as much as possible. So as you can see, they now look very sharp and clear. Then I go to the color mixer section and in the luminance tab, I just want to know where the colors are used. Then I brighten the yellows a little and go back to basic section and bring down the highlights. And also by clicking on this icon, we can see the overexposed sections of the photo so if i zoom in right here you can see the areas that are red are overexposed and completely white so we will avoid that as much as possible and i bring down the highlights and whites to get rid of these areas and i think the shoes just look a little yellowish so i bring down the temperature of the white balance and then click on the ok button now like what we did with the feet layer we will mask the whole layer and paint white on the areas that we want to show up i move down the shoes layer below the feet layer so i can easily paint the areas that are in contact with the skin and then we paint all the way around the shoes and here's a tip for changing the brush size and hardness easily you just hold down the alt key and right click and after that you just drag the mouse up and down for increase and decrease the hardness and also the left and right to make the brush bigger or smaller
Okay, after the outlining is finished, now again we just hold Alt key and click on the thumbnail of the mask, then we fill inside the outline. Okay, our photo is almost done. And for the last part, I just drag and drop the logo of the brand that I'm working on and just put it right here in the dark section of the photo and double click on the layer to bring up the layer style window and turn on the color overlay and click on it and choose the white color for the fill. And as you can see, it's completely white and just place it right in here. And that's it, we just edited our product photo, made it more appealing and more attractive to the viewers. I hope you liked this tutorial and learned something new from it. I would love to see your comments on the comment section and you can tell me what tutorial you want me to do next. And it would be amazing if you subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.